viewers to the 12th episode in a series of 12 episodes that are focused on the August 2023 Mathematics Paper 2. So if you haven't seen the last 11 episodes, please go to our YouTube channel. You'll see a playlist that contains the solution to all the 12 questions. And we've also done the detailed solution to the Mathematics Paper 1 of the 2023 Augustine exam. So let us look at question 12. 12M, evaluate the integral of negative 1 minus 3x square with respect to x over the interval negative 1 to 1. Then B, the diagram shows the graph of y is equal to x to the power 3 minus x square minus 5x minus 3. Then if you go to the lower numeral one of question B using the graph or use the graph to find the solution of the equations. So we have these two equations. Then Loma numeral 2, find the gradient of the curve at the point negative 2,5, then area bounded by the curve x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0, and x is equal to 3. So again, this question is one of the questions that I encourage people to answer because this question always come and is one of the easiest questions that you can come across in an exam. So let us start with question A. So question A, we just need to evaluate. So this can be written also as, then we have negative 1 x to the power 0 because anything less to the power 0 is 1. So 1 times negative 1 is negative 1, then minus 3 x square, then the x. Then at this point, you can just start now integrating. Now remember the principle of integration is if you have a function y is equal to, let us say, x to the power n. When I'm integrating, to find the integral of this one, this just becomes eh, as in x n plus eh, 1 over n plus eh, 1. That's what it becomes. So it's that principle that we're going to use. So I'm going to say now, negative 1, which is a, a constant, then x to the power 0 plus 1 over 0 plus 1, then minus 3, then x square, we add the 1, then divide by the new power, then over the interval negative 1 to 1. Then we simplify this, we are going to end up with negative x, divide by 1, you see, negative x, then this one gives us a 3, so it will be 3 into 3 is 1. So we're going to have negative 1 x cubic. Then over this interval, negative 1 to 1. Then at this point, it's just a matter of substituting now. So just start substituting. So let me start with him. We start with the positive. So whatever there is x, we're going to put in a 1, which is this one, and here a 1. So we're going to have negative 1, then minus negative 1 to the power 3, then minus, so now we start the, the next one, so the first one we are done now, we start substituting in negative 1, so it will be negative 1, that negative then negative 1, then minus negative 1 cubic, like that. So we're going to simplify this one alone and this one alone, then we find the final answer. So what it will be? This is negative 1, this is negative 1, so it will be negative 2, then minus, then in bracket here, this is a positive, so it will be plus, then that one plus, so it will be a negative. So this will be a plus 2, because this will end up to be a positive, and this will end up to be a positive, because negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 is negative times, this negative it becomes a positive, so we end up with a negative 1. 4. So negative 4 is the answer. So you just have to be careful with him, the negative values. If you mix up the negative values, then you lose these three marks. Okay, then we proceed to the next one. Question B, saying of Loma numeral 1, we use the graph to find the solution. So we are given this graph. This is the graph. So this is the one. So now we need to use this graph to find the solution where that function is equal to 0. So now this function, if you check on the graph, this is the y. So at what point is y is equal to 0? 
So y is equal to 0 at this point and this point. So there are two points at which y is equal to 0. So if I come to now solve this equation, we are looking for the solution. What are the values of x? So this is b loma numero 1. So b loma numero 1m. So what's the value of x here? It's negative 1. So x is equal to negative 1 or what's the value of x here at which point in the graph is in equal to 0 or the value of y is equal to 0 so the next one is in x is equal to 3 so once you do that you get these two marks as simple as that then b we have this function so now if you look at this function this function is somehow similar to the one on top except that uh, there are some modifications that has been done so let us compare the two so that you see why they are the same so this question will come so you just need to know how to manipulate it so that uh, you answer this question correctly so you notice that uh, this one is the same this one is the same this one the equal this one the equal the one thing which is not there is uh, this three what is here instead of zero we have that and here we don't have that so I need to express this second function in terms of um, this function in such a way that I end up with it, this part. The first part I should have it. That's what I need to do. So now, how can I ensure that uh, I have um, a negative um, 3 on B? So I need to have um, a negative 3 here as uh, a constant because um, what this function is, this function is the same as x to the power 3 then minus x square minus 5 x then plus zero is equal to x minus three so now i don't want this to be a zero i want this to be a negative three so mathematically i'm going to add a zero so i'm going to add a zero so i'm going to say x to the power three minus x square minus five x then plus a special zero which will be plus three minus 3 equals x minus 3 so this part is a 0 but I don't want to have a positive 3 so now what do I do I need to cross this to this side so that I remain with negative 3 the other side so I'm going to remain with x to the power 3 minus x square minus 5x minus 3 is equal to x minus 3 minus 3 because the moment the plus 3 crosses the equal sign becomes a negative so I end up with now minus 3x minus x square minus 5x minus 3 equals x minus 6 so now this function is the same as the original function then I have this function so this function is the same as y is equal to x minus 6 then the first function you see this function which is the same as this function that were given here which is y is equal to that so now what I need to deal with now is to plot the second function so the point where these two functions are cross each other is where I'm looking for the solution because this is equality so there is equality here meaning x minus 6 and this function are equal to one point so you come to this curve and plot the function so now this function that we found is this line y is equal to that so I just need to pick two points that are on this curve so I'm going to pick the value of x let us say when x is equal to negative 3 and when x is equal to positive 3 what are the values of this function so I have that function so I'll say I'll do this so I have x here then I have y so when x is equal to 3 what will be the value of this function so I'm going to substitute here I'll put a 3 so it will be 3 minus 6 which will be negative 3 what if when x is equal to negative 3 which is here 
which is there at this point. So I'm going to substitute there. So I'll put in negative 3 here now. It will be negative 3 minus 6. It will be negative 9. So I have those two extreme points. So it's just a matter of me joining them on the curve. So I'm, I'm going to have 3 comma negative 3, negative 3 comma 9. So negative 3 comma 9, if this is by the interval of 5, 5, so meaning each subunit is 0 0.5. So ne negative 9 will be somewhere just two points below here. Just before. Then the next one is in 3 comma negative 3, which will be somewhere 3 comma negative 3, it will be somewhere just at this point somewhere. Then you can get your ruler and join these points. You can draw a line. Let me just use a different color so that you're able to so use the red color. So you draw a line. So now you can draw the line that will pass through these points. So this line will intersect the curve at three points. So now it's these three points that you need to lead. You find these values. So these will be the values of um, x that you are looking for. So Roman numero two. So when you look at the first point, the first point will be just slightly about uh, above negative two. So it will or below negative two in terms of um, uh, the magnitudes because it's a negative. So it will be just below. So it will be about uh, something around the negative two point two five two negative 2.3 that will be the first value of x that will be x1 so let me just label them so x1 will be negative 2.25 then you can also have another x which will be at this point so this point you notice that it's just below 1 so the value of x there will be about 0. Just below half 0 0.45, just below 0 0.5. So, if you use your graph paper, this will look or your exam paper, it will be much more clear because the boxes are clear. Then, this one it will be just about close to 3, which will be about 2.77 or 78. 2.2. Eight, somewhere there. Once you do that, then you're good to go and you get some good marks from this question. So we go to the last question. Then Loma Numelon 2, we have A and B. Then we need to find the gradient at this point. So to find the gradient, the easiest way is just to use differentiation. So you get the original function. So it's this function that we get and differentiate with respect to y. So we're going to find y, dx, then we substitute. So we're going to have um, this one will be 3x squared. Then the next one will be negative 2x, then minus 5. Then at that point now we substitute instead of using the the ruler because this point is not asking us to use the graph it's the first one that is asking us to use the graph so this one you don't need to stick to the graph unless the question is emphasize that you use the graph so now we pick the value of x to be negative 2 so here it will be 3 multiplied by negative 2 square minus 2 multiplied by negative 2 then minus 5 so when you simplify you are going to have negative 2 square is positive 4 times 3 is 12 minus negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 minus 5. Then this is 11. So we are going to end up with 11 as the gradient at point negative 2 comma 5, which is at this point. So if you draw a line here using a ruler, we are going to find that 11. So because the question does not require us to use the graph, we can just use calculus there. We are short of getting the exact value. Then find the area bounded by this so we can find this area using two ways we can just estimate or we can use again calculus 
where we can integrate that function and substitute then we'll be able to find the exact value so if we are to use estimation let me use this graph here if it were use estimation we are told the area bounded by x is equal to 1 then y is equal to 0 and x is equal to 3 so we come here x is equal to 3 is at this point x is equal to 1 is this point so we draw a line here using a ruler then it's this region because this is, this is y is equal to 0 then this is so you can just start counting you know that this is a 1 because this is a 1 so this is difference is 1 1 times 5 so these are 5 units a complete sec square then you have another this one which is almost 5 then plus this one which is in about almost 5 so you are talking about approximately about 15 units Approx approximately so that's how you can estimate but you can still find this one by just integrating this function then find the value within this range so quickly that's how we can estimate but using calculus we can solve this and look for an exact value so let me just do that one quickly so we can just integrate so now the function is x to the power 3 minus x square minus 5x minus 3 then we see so what's the interval so the interval we are asked is this is at the values of x now because we are integrating so it will be bounded to this area on top so it will be bounded this will be the boundary so now you see between 1 and 3 so I come and integrate this one quickly so I'm going to have x 4 then over 4 then minus x square over 3 minus 5x square over 2 this is 3 sorry then minus 3x then this is the interval then it's just a matter of substituting so I'm going to have 3 to the power 4 over 4 minus 3 to the power 3 over 3 then minus 5 multiplied by 3 to the power 2 over 2 minus 3 multiplied by 3 then this I need to simplify it then minus I use a different color here so that you see the difference then we substitute a 1 so it will be 1 to the power 4 over 4 minus 1 to the power 3 over 3 then 5 multiplied by 1 square over 2 minus 3 multiplied by 1 like this then we simplify when we simplify this using our calculator we're going to discover that this is 81 over 4 minus 9 minus 2.5 multiplied by 9 minus 9 then this one then so this is the first part then we go to the second part which is the this one which will be 1 over 4 minus 1 over 3 minus 2.5 minus 3 like that so when you simplify this using the calculator we're going to discover that we're going to end up with a negative 20.525 minus negative 5.583 which when you simplify will give us 14.66 you need so to three significant figures is see 14.70 units which is approximately the 15 that we found so this is how you answer this question using two ways it's either you can estimate using the graph to answer this question and get these two marks or you can use integration to find the answer